Hi, my name is Brian English, forum name Hyperbytes and I'm a Whopper ambassador. In this module I like to discuss CouchDB and PouchDBs, new features that will soon be introduced into Whopper. CouchDB is open source, it is an open source development by the Apache Foundation so we know it comes from a good solid reliable stable. It's a mature product. When I researched this have found it was first released in 2005 and was adopted as an Apache project in 2008 and has been quite extensively used within the IBM cloud so I think we now know that it is a reliable and successful platform. So what exactly is CouchDB? CouchDB is a NoSQL database, similar in idea to the likes of MongoDB. What this means is it uses a document-based approach to data storage. It has no central schema, instead each document contains its own internal schema definition which is defined within JSON. So effectively, that database becomes a collection of JSON-based document formats. CouchDB is built for the web. It uses standard HTTP requests to the database and CouchDB responds with a JSON payload, so, if compared, it is very natural to Wappler due to the similarity in the relationship between AppConnect and Server Connect. And importantly, applications can access multiple CouchDB databases simultaneously. We look at where that becomes really useful in a later part of the presentation. CouchDB is a durable, crash-resistant platform which can self-correct. It's reliable. It's written in a language called Erlang which for decades is being used in the telecommunications industry, so the language itself also has a very solid long-term reliable history. So CouchDB is no sequel. So what's the negatives? Normally it needs more planning to optimize structures, but this is mitigated by Wappler's integration of schema definitions, and structure availability via the data picker. Couch and PouchDB normally needs a better understanding of what queries you will make to facilitate effective search, but the integration of the Visual Query Builder makes this as easy as defining a SQL-based query, server, or client-side. So planning and setup with this Wappler integration will be just as easy as implementation of a SQL schema-based database. But the benefits mean that you have a massive amount of flexibility in terms of how you store your data. And as a result your structure becomes reliable, very predictable and very scalable. The power of CouchDB really comes to the fore with its synchronization capabilities. At any time data can be replicated to another server either in full or as a filtered subset and this replication can then be made bidirectional. So this means that you can replicate almost without limits allowing multi-site replication synchronization and load distribution and CouchDB manages all of the data migrations and integrations for you through its internal document metabase. So what is PouchDB then? Well PouchDB is an open source JavaScript database inspired by CouchDB. It is effectively CouchDB running inside your web browser providing a local database, which you can query and populate etc. in exactly the same way as you would with a full-blown CouchDB database. It obviously runs in browser environment and can be used as a direct interface to CouchDB, and syncs with any remote CouchDB instances if connected. Additionally it supports all modern browsers and also supports Cordova, PhoneGap, Electron and Chrome apps so it is again ideally suited for Wappler. So what could it offer that we don't have now? Applications including desktop and mobile projects can have access to local databases running in a browser via PouchDB. They may also access other couch databases at the same time. PouchDB can hold a temporary replicated snapshot of the data from that CouchDB database. It can run offline with reference to the local copy in PouchDB but on returning online, CouchDB's internal replication capability can bidirectionally merge and synchronize any new data. That's something that everybody's been looking forward to for a long time now for mobile applications and here it comes guys. It's coming to Wapala real soon. Thanks for allowing me to share this with you.